So in C, the way a pointer works um, is that it has to point to something. So you can imagine that you have a variable called x, and I often like to think about the variable x as being just simply a label for a container, and in that container is some value. In this case, it's a value that's an integer. Um, we've initialized it to 3. Well, this other variable called xptr, um, I've called it xptr, kind of an x pointer, but you can name it anything. It also just simply contains a value. Now, each variable resides in memory at a certain location. Um, so let's make up an address. Let's say that x resides at, um, let's call it hex fa13. So this x pointer, um, if we do it right, it should contain the address of another variable. And so that's what this line here does. It initializes it, um, xptr, so that it contains the address of another variable. You'll see this ampersand operator, um, which is used to um, get the address of the variable x. So you can always just simply determine the address of a variable by saying printf um, and then the normally you would do something like this if you just wanted to, to work with the integer x but if you want to look at the address this ampersand operator will extract the address now since this is not um, a simple 32-bit integer um, and in fact, depending on the system, an int could vary in size depending on um, a number of things, the compiler and, and the platform that you're on. So even though it is an integer and a percent %d quite often will give you an address in decimal format, you won't use a percent %d if you want to see the address. You're going to use a percent %p, and that will print out the address of the uh, the address of variable x. Now, if you were to uh, exchange the ampersand x that you've used here, and if you were to say print out xptr, these two values would be the same. So whether you're printing out x um, the address of x with the ampersand operator, or if you just print out xptr, those values are going to be the same. Printing out the address of x will give you this. Printing out just xptr will give you um, the same value. Now, this xptr variable, this pointer variable, um, which was initialized using the asterisk um, here, is different than how you would declare an integer. So that asterisk is how you indicate that the variable is a pointer type. So this is kind of an int pointer xptr, the way that this is an int x. Um, this asterisk operator, or this asterisk, asterisk designation, um, whether you do something like, like this, where you say int um, pointer, and then x, or whether you go int pointer and then a space in between, or whether you say int and then pointer x. All three of those would be seen as, in this context, it all, all would be seen as um, initializing or declaring this particular variable to be a pointer. So maybe would do something like this just to distinguish it from the x that we've declared before but all three of these are equivalent ways of declaring this xp as a pointer um, 
and this pointer variable does in fact have its own address whatever that may be so we'll make up something hex f003 um, and so um, we can see that the pointer has its address and the variable x has its address now instead of kind of referencing these two with this kind of imagery it's more um, I find it more helpful to um, do something like this where I have the variable x and then I have a pointer um, we'll call it xp just to shorten this who's pointing to x so he essentially has the address of x um, that's so this let's make it complete so that they're essentially indicating the same ideas this xptr and what's going on over here are used um, by myself to indicate the same ideas so I won't often it's rare that I'll put the address or care about the actual address I'll just indicate that there's a pointer that is uh, referencing or pointing to um, a particular variable and if we wish to look at the address of a variable what I've introduced is this ampersand sign and that ampersand sign here um, is used to extract the address of its thing that it's operating on its operand so the ad ampersand is the operator and it works on an operand the thing that it's looking to um, extract the address of so how can we use these um, these ideas um, let's say that I wish to um, print the contents of the variable or the box that holds um, the three or essentially the variable X I have a couple of ways of doing it one way would be to use the standard kind of printf percent D and then we'd say just simply X and that will print out the contents of X um, the other way to print out the context of uh, the contents of F if t is to use a printf and then a percent D and then I'm going to introduce um, a new operator that looks a lot like something that we used to declare a pointer but in this context it is something it means something different so I have this asterisk and this asterisk here will um, be used on a pointer and whenever you see this asterisk used on a pointer you can take that combination look at what it's pointing to and then just replace the entire thing with the thing that it points to um, so this XPTR now is just the same as um, just had we written X so this asterisk that um, this operation that we just did where we kind of pulled the contents I depending on, on, on how we use this sometimes it's helpful to think about this as go get the contents out of the thing that the pointer is pointing at sometimes helpful I can show you in, um, shortly here when it's that doesn't quite hold but right now it's just kind of an easy way of thinking about it it grabs the contents um, of that are at that particular address the the more consistent way to think about this is that whenever you see an asterisk on and uh, a pointer 
replace that with the thing it, that it's pointing to. Um, and so this that we've just done is the act of dereferencing. So it's pointing to something, and now we're dereferencing it. We're treating it as though it's um, the variable itself. So I, although I did say that it's um, sometimes helpful to think about the operator as getting the contents out of, another way to use the dereference operator, the asterisk, and a pointer is to do something like this. You could write a line of code that has the ampersand um, and then the pointer variable and do something like this. So what is this doing? Well, this code here, remember I said you can always just replace that combination with the variable that's being referenced or addressed. So this is exactly the same thing as saying set the value of x to 3. So when I do this, um, we're, um, we're replacing um, with the variable that xptr points to. All right? We're essentially doing that right there. So replace that entire object um, that's matched and paired together with the variable, the thing, the, um, that xptr points to. That is certainly still, in this context, um, considered uh, um, dereferencing. So let's do a quick summary on, on, on what we've learned over the last maybe 12 minutes or so. A pointer simply is a variable that is used to hold an address. Um, in another video, I will show you how that is beneficial to you. But for right now, it suffices to know that it just is a variable that references another variable, that contains an address of another variable. I will typically use this um, this arrow versus actual addresses to show that I'm working with a pointer. Um, and, um, and that the context that we see here, when we're um, working with code, and it's not an initialization or a declaration, um, then we're treating the, the pointer um, with the dereference operator, the asterisk, as though it were the variable itself. So this is certainly different. In this context, the operator here, um, this is entirely different than what we're doing um, up here. So though, although it's the same symbol, it's, a, it's an asterisk, one is just simply a declaration, um, and the other one is a dereference. Um, and they are certainly not the the same. They don't they don't serve the same function.